the Endurance. We are stranded on an island in the Dragon's Triangle. We need help and medical supplies. Please this is the origin story. So this is her at age 21 before she's that action heroine. It's her on her first adventure. She's with some friends and a mentor on this ship called the Endurance that gets shipwrecked off the coast of Japan. She's thrown overboard, gets knocked out, uh, lands in this den area uh, in the very beginning of the game. She's upside down in this sack. I don't know if you saw the demo at E3 a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. And she extricates herself, falls like 30 feet, lands on a piece of rebar, completely just like gnarly wound, yanks the piece of rebar out, confused, doesn't know what she's doing on this island. So the whole point of the game really is just about her survival. Oh God, Steph. I noticed that uh, she's sort of fabricated a bow and arrow. Is yeah. That, she, is that some of the things that you have to look forward to? Yeah, for sure. I mean, she's, it's less about kind of crafting weapons. She definitely does upgrade her weapons throughout the game. She salvages, salvages parts to upgrade her machine gun, her pistol, stuff like that. But her bow and arrows are really her lifeline. So it's the first weapon she finds. She uses it to find food. Um, she uses it in combat situations. So you actually have to like salvage things for food and find find things to real survival. Get the hell off me! Yeah, it's more about upgrading her tools, um, especially for climbing and exploring. What kind of tools are there? Uh, there's climbing axe, uh, the bone arrow actually, you can put a tow rope on, on your uh, arrows, so you can shoot um, a tow rope across the level and then climb out using the bone arrow um, to, to areas you couldn't get to previously, so it's definitely a cool feature in the game. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, is it, so it's a little bit different than the other games as far as not being uh, puzzle-based? Definitely, yeah, definitely more of an action-adventure, big set pieces. There's, there's still puzzles, like we're still um, focusing a lot on the puzzles and the, the tomb raiding aspects which people kind of yeah. like know and love. Um, but the puzzles are more kind of environment physics based, so it's a lot, it's more about her being clever and less about like walking up to a sundial and turning it 90 degrees and like lining up three different runes. What is this place? Uh, you mentioned environments. What kind of environments do you uh, traverse through in this? There's a lot. So in this level, um, she's just, the very beginning of the game, like I said, she was in this den that was like very oppressive, dark. If you've seen the movie The Descent, that kind of oh, art direction. Awesome. That's a rad movie. The whole color palette, our art director's kind of gone crazy and, <laughs> and done a lot of really cool things with, with the game. So a bunch of different environments, uh, no, uh, no like alien levels or anything, but... Uh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> everything, is like, everything is like based in reality, like everything is like rooted in reality. We want to create a relatable character. The island is kind of a character in and of itself. Um, so like a lot of really cool, interesting mysteries going on on the island that you kind of unravel throughout the course of the game. I can't wait. Well, um, I hope that I'm going to get a chance to uh, take this controller right and yeah. Oh yeah, that's sick. I'd mention, yeah, I didn't even... That. Yeah, can I have it? It's a nuclear Did you case. see it? This thing's nice. It's a what? The nuclear briefcase? Yeah, I can't. It's got the, the USB key. It's like all locked down. Oh, is it? It's like a special one, yeah. There's two of those in existence. Whatever. Sorry. You knocked me out. Thanks, Brent. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's something I wanted to show you over here. Do you want to check this out over here? All right. Thanks, brother. Yeah, Appreciate thank your you. time. Yeah.